What is up, you guys? It's your boy Grim back here with another war recap, and I'm back here in my hometown, man. Back here in Stargate. This, you know, this is where my roots are at, man. This is where it all started here in Stargate. My first clan. I got friends in this clan, so you know, I mean, this is where it all started. But uh, we did do a war, and uh, not happy to, uh, about it so much because we lost. Uh, they got on a little bit of a streak, you know. We had a couple draws. They had some wins. They had like four or five wins. Um, in a row a one two three four and now we got a loss maybe it's because i i was in it you know maybe because i joined I, i'm bad luck or something maybe it's a curse i don't know but whatever the case we lost three stars kind of suck man but um i'm gonna try my best to show you guys the uh better attacks that we had in this war uh because otherwise i mean we did have a lot of straight doo doo poo poo attacks man this it was nothing pretty but uh let's get it started i'll show my first uh, attack that I did on this TH10. If you don't know it, there is a strat going on right now. Most uh, you might know it. It's kind of recent. A lot of people are doing these OP golem attacks, man, with three or four jumps included. So right there, place the jump. Notice how I placed it uh, right there at the edge, able to get them through the first two walls. One, two, three, and then I got seven golems, fifteen wizzies. Two on that one side. Three's gonna be in the middle. That's gonna be the hardcore tank right there. And then two on the other side. Four Wizzies on both of those two golem sides. You know, four Wizzies is enough. And the rest of the Wizzies in the middle to help take out that hardcore middle right there. But Queen and King is also gonna go down the middle. Let down the Poi. Let that marinate on the CC. Get them balloons lowered. That dragon lowered. King is gonna work his way in there. Rage the opener. All I brought was one Rage. So it was four jumps, one Rage. That rage for the opener is going to help the uh, heroes get in there and flex on that core. And Queen is going to get in there, take out the dragon. King took a little bit of a walk, but he's going to come back around. He's going to boomerang back around and help out in taking out that uh, the, uh, the, the TH. Queen, really nice job, man. She came in clutch as always, uh, just taking out the surrounding buildings and taking helping take out that TH, man. So a very nice attack. If you don't know how to, I mean, it's it's not too hard of an attack. Of course, you can still flop on this if you don't do it right. Say if you don't place your jumps right or uh, your whizzies. You know, there's stuff that could go wrong. But I recommend for TH10s that are looking for a solid two-star strat, take this one into account. It, it varies, you know, three or four jumps. Sometimes you may only need three. Uh, people have also been incorporating earthquakes into it. But seven golems, 15 whizzies. Bring six with you and ask for a, uh, a golem in your CC. But yeah, there you go, man. That's sort of a basic uh, attack for it using that seven golem strat. Not bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Chris. Man, I don't think I've, I had him in one of my videos. You know, Chris, uh, he does do some good attacks every now and then when he does show up for the war. Some, <laughs> I'll tell you, man, you're kind of sketchy. I'm just putting it out there. You're kind of sketchy with the war attacks. You know, you get me scared sometimes. I don't think he's showing up. But when he does show up, every now and then he does have some good attacks. You know, not, this one's not bad. Uh, some stuff he could have done better. And uh, I think he forgot about some things. He forgot about his jump. Uh, but he did bring earthquakes, man. And if you don't know it, uh, level level one earthquakes can take down any any wall. You know, if you're a real if you're a true clasher, you probably should know that. Level one, four level one earthquakes will take down any wall. If it's max, if it's blue, skull walls, it don't matter. So that's what Chris, Chris does here. He brings in four level, uh, oh, he brought level three. I don't know why he wastes time leveling that up. I, my earthquake's still level one. Uh, but yeah, level four level one earthquakes could take down any, it, it, it's the stupidest thing Supercell has done. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know, it's kind of, I mean, earthquakes are nice. They're not bad, but uh, I mean, really? You don't even have to level these things up. Four of them could take down any wall. I don't know. We'll see what they, I don't know if they're going to nerf it or what. We'll see. Um, Chris brings in, yeah, he brings in a go wipe. Uh, Pekka's gonna get in there, lays down his poison, gonna take care of that CC. King kind of takes a walk. Uh, pretty sure he didn't want him to go right there. He wanted him to get to that core, but it actually ends out working for him, man, because he gets that percentage. Late Wizzy's getting laid down. You know he should have laid that down uh, a little bit more before, man. That was a little, little delayed. Um, or he could have saved him for the cleanup on the other side. Uh, but yeah, no, he does get this. Uh, you're gonna get in the fight. Queen gonna get in the fight with the king. No, king turned around. He's a coward. Why is your king only level 23? I thought it was higher, man. You gonna 
we're gonna have to do something about that man you gotta get that king you gotta get get that king up man we can't be having you uh th10 at the level 23 king man you gotta get that up uh, a few bombers to open up this uh top right side uh rage right there just trying to hopes try to get get the rest of this percentage man he just needs percentage he's got four wall breakers left and an archer he's gonna get it because he got an mvp archer right here taking out that army camp and there you go 52 percent so far got the bombers with a flex coming in just because you know he still got the jump left he should have just let waste of the jump you know just a flex on this base but he doesn't still ends up getting the two star man so nice job on chris's part uh would like to see more from you and there we go come on now end it all right so there we go that was another two star for th10s and then we're gonna we had some cleanups we had to clean up uh some of the th9s because again man we i probably should make a video called straight donkey i mean we had some donkey attacks some straight doo doo poo poo man but dow he's a th10 he came in here flexed hard on this base man he just straight bullied it expos were down so that's a plus when using lava loon attacks man uh shattered go uh go lava loon brings in two golems two max ones you know so that's really nice spreads his whizzies out taking out the trash king and queen are down they're gonna work their way to the middle gonna get to that cc rage the opener man that, that's that's really nice when you rage that king and queen in there maximizing their uh their firepower able to take out more and more buildings that's always nice man okay dad you're really gonna have to get your your heroes up too man we need you to we need you at, at least 30 man i know you're working on it. i know you're working hard at it and props to you but yeah we need you to hurry up man get that king and queen up we need you to be at 30 man uh starts his la Luna attack from the right side uh hound on that one ad another another hound coming on the other and he got plenty of loons man and he's just gonna straight wreck this base got the rage dropping down they're gonna help power them loons up gonna get them through the core more loons coming up from the top left and this is this is oh, this is about good night right here you don't need he, he don't need to do nothing else, man. No more loons. He don't even have to lay these four of the loons down because the ones that are laid on the floor right now, they're going to take care of it. Got the poi left. Don't even need the poi. I'm not sure if he flexes on it with that or what. I'm not sure. Maybe he saves it. He might as well just lay it down right there in the middle. Flex on him, man. Flex on him. I don't know if he does it. Does he do it? I think he just holds on to it. Oh, yeah. He just holds Okay. All right. Anyway, still one hundo, man. Got the 100%. Nice cleanup. We needed the TH10s to step down, come down to the TH9s to help clean up those poo-poo attacks, and that's just what they did. Uh, we even had Ace. Ace came down. He's a TH9. He came down and had to take care of business on a TH8. Not a bad design for a TH8. Uh, there's no double giant bomb spots, which, I mean, nowadays, people are learning more and more about Goho. You need to set up some double giant bomb spots, man. If you're a TH8, hogs are going to come through and wreck you. They are going to wreck you. Uh, Poi gets laid down very nicely, very nicely on those that CC. Drag is getting poisoned. Those archers and whatever else he had in there are getting taken care of. Queen going down, rages that opener, maximizing that firepower, gets that firepower in there and takes care of the CC. King, queen, golems are getting in there. They're tanking hardcore for him. And pretty soon right here, he's going to drop down his hogs. I love the way he drops down his hogs. First comes the giant. Distraction for his hogs. Three, four hogs on those point defenses. Even getting to that Wizzy Tower. Nicely first place raid or uh, heal. Nicely first place heal. Maximizing the coverage on that. Covering all those defenses. Uh, second heal uh, was a little bit of a waste. Uh, and he even mentioned that afterwards after he uses attack that the second hill definitely could have been placed better which it could have i mean you're healing up nothing right there and you just place it over storage is not i mean put put your heels over defenses you know don't you know i mean storages of course are going to get included sometimes but when you're including three or four storages that's never that's never a good idea man but he knew he messed up so that's good you know knowing where you messed up and just improving next time is uh is what it comes down to man so really wrecking this base on ace's part man nice job nice surgical goho uh love to see this on a th9 of course we had to have you come down to the th8 to help clean up but yeah this is that's about it man save some cleanups really nice job and there we go nice one man uh i think was there another attack 
I don't think so. I, I, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my attack <laughs> again. One more, one more attack that I did. Um, well, oh, oh, no. What was it? Oh, it was on their number eight. And it was a TH9. You know, I, I got to show this just because it's, you know, it's a pretty boss attack, man. It's a pretty boss attack. They had an AQ walk with a Goho. I mean, I, I, it's a TH9. I know I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not proud of it. But still, I mean, the, the fact remains that it was a boss attack. AQ walk, man. Level 33 or level 31 ho. Three healers on that. She's going to take care of business. Take out, you know, a whole compartment by herself. And then going to work her way down to the left. I probably didn't need to place uh, as many whizzies as I did right there on the right-hand side to direct her to go left. Uh, I think two whizzies would have been, been just enough. Uh, but, you know that that i just wanted to be sure i wanted to make sure she goes the right way so as you can i mean these aq walks man they are something else uh i have done them against th10s you know i'm not a straight i'm not a straight donkey dude you know i've done it against th10s i've had success and i've had fails you know i i, I gotta uh i gotta level up my queen a little bit more so that way i can uh, really take on the th10s and do work on them uh i probably could I wasn't sure if I needed this rage or not. I did use the rage just to hurry up and get her out of that way of the expo. The expo was working working on her, man. She ends up getting the CC pool. And, yeah, I had to rage her up. That way she takes out some more buildings and those healers get on top of her and heal her up quick. Because that's what the rage does. Rage powers up your people, but also your, he your healers, man. And sh they will uh, heal her up faster if, she if they're in the rage. So, uh, start my uh, flex attack over there on the top left. Golem's coming in. King is coming in. He's going to help do work. Wizzies are help uh, directing traffic, controlling the trash, taking that out. Queen comes up from behind and joins with the rest of the army. A few hogs coming in from the top. Uh, lay down a heel. That way they're taken care of. I probably, uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, did I hold on to it? I guess I did hold on to it. Yeah, right there. So, I knew there was a... Um, there was a possibility there's a giant bomb right there in front of the AD. So I did place one. They actually completely avoided it, which is nice. More hogs coming in from the right, and this base is done. This base gets taken out quickly. Very, very nice. If I do say so myself, it was a TH9, but you know, you know, I, I, I it, it had to happen. Had to happen. Had to clean up. Uh, so not a bad attack if I do say so myself. I will have some TH10 AQ walks for you. Uh, just let me level up my queen a little bit more so I feel more confident. Um, or if I face a lower TH10, you know, something that's not all that max. Got the Poi Flex coming down in the middle, man. Flexing on that base hard. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it. This base is good night. Done data, man. Really dubbed that base out, man. Dubbed it out. So that's it for you guys, man. Uh, like I said, we did lose the war. Uh, a little bit of a shame. We are in another war, which uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna crap on these guys, man. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, we're going against 1.21. This time we only bring in three TH10s. We got my boy Aaron coming. He usually uh, comes in with the firepower, man. He come in with four stars, uh, maybe even a three star uh, on one of those TH10s. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he does. And me. Chris, and then we got our TH9. Uh, this roster is looking pretty good. We had to opt some people out uh, going on with a uh, 10 versus 10 this time. But yeah, yeah, man. We're only facing two TH10s. That's kind of a plus. And I think we're gonna straight we're gonna straight crap on these bases, man. This this ain't nothing to be afraid of. Seven uh, golem could do work on this base, man. Seven golem. Uh, maybe we'll try for a three star. We'll see. Uh, seven golem on this one too. You know, again, seven golems is just a solid two star strat. It's not a three star, uh, but it could definitely get a two star uh, on a TH10 man. So yeah, there we go. We'll end up. I think we will. If I if, if my prediction's right, we'll end. The, we'll win this war, man. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully my word don't fail you guys. Anyways, that's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Sorry for the uh, the attacks if they were poo poo. If you guys didn't appreciate them so much, but you know what? I mean that that's how it is sometimes. You gotta you gotta uh, do work with what you got, man. Anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.